Hi, my name is Ed Diaz, and today on the Phantom G, I'm going to show you in live mode how to adjust your own velocity switching. Okay, what this is is we're going to take uh, layered sounds, you know, maybe uh, a couple different sounds, but we're going to set up the uh, Phantom G so when I hit it, the keys at a certain velocity or how hard I hit them, certain sounds will accent where others won't. Okay, so let's learn how to do that right now. All right, let's do it. So today what we're going to do is we're going to uh, assign uh, multiple sounds, but we're going to only have certain sounds trigger when we hit strike the keys at a certain velocity. So the first thing we need to do is we need to switch the Phantom into live mode. So if I just go right over here, put the Phantom in live mode, and you'll have whatever comes up. Okay, so let's go ahead and... So let's go ahead and uh, 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 clear this out. So remember, you go to F2 Utility, we go to F6 Initialize, and we do F8 Select and F7 OK. And once we have that done, we here press F8 Exit. And as you see, it just cleared out temporarily whatever was there. Okay. So now that we have that done, let's create a basic live set. Okay, so if I cursor down, I'm going to go ahead and press F1 patch list, and I'm going to use uh, electric piano. That's very common. So let's go ahead and just use electric piano. That's fine. Press F8 select. Now I have my basic sound. Got that. I have that sound now. Now let's go ahead and cursor down to the next sound, and let's pick something that we can really hear the difference. So we use an electric piano for that sound. On this sound, I'm going to use maybe some kind of acoustic brass, and I'm going to go ahead and use, let's say, uh, one that I like for this type of example is brass and sax, so number 939, so F8 select. So now I have this sound. Okay, so now let's put them to both together. Okay, now remember how I do that? I'm going to go ahead and use my cursor which is right over here, and I'm a cursor to the right. These are the cursors, the arrows are the cursors, and this is the dial wheel, okay? So now that I know that, let's cursor to the right, and see it's the keyboard column. So spin the dial wheel to the right to turn it on. Let's cursor up again, and let's turn now the electric piano on at the same time. So now you should be able to hear both of them. So and that's fine okay that's fine now what we're gonna set up in a second is we're gonna set it up so that way when I play at uh, a medium velocity I'm only gonna hear the electric piano but as soon as I hit the keys hard you know uh, uh, strike them at a harder velocity the brass and sax will come in so here's how you do that so we go ahead and press F3 part view and if you look over here there's a lot of different options okay and I'm just using my F1 and F2 to go down uh, I have my level and pan, which you can do that on the top of the keyboard if you want. Uh, now, the one I want to go to is number the second option, which is keyboard. Now, in this option, you see that I can uh, go ahead and turn the sounds on in the key bed here, just like in the front. Here, I can go ahead and adjust the uh, the layers and splits. But what I'm really concerned about is V low, low, V low, upper. So V low, low is velocity the lowest velocity for the trigger and velo upper is uh, the hardest velocity it takes for it to trigger so I'm gonna adjust I'm gonna leave the electric piano on 1 through 27 so that way if I play it soft you hear the electric piano if I play it hard you'll hear the electric piano I'm gonna cursor down and I'm gonna adjust the brass and sa uh, sax so let's go ahead and adjust that and I'm gonna do it a little extreme let's do it at 120 Okay, and I'm, I'm using my dial wheel over here. I'm just spinning the dial wheel and adjusting that number. So I'm going to put it at a 125. So I I'll actually have to hit it pretty hard. Now look, listen to this. I'll go ahead and play some chords. So we'll go ahead and play. You don't hear the horns now. But if I strike the keyboard hard... So you see, depending on how I strike the keys, 
I can bring that sound, the brass and sax sound in or not bring it in. So if you're playing a nice ballad and, uh, you know, you're doing your thing, you're going... I just triggered that sound just by striking the keys harder. Okay? So... Once again, just go in and choose your sounds. And notice we can do multiple sounds this way. So I'm just doing two in this example. But if we wanted to, we can go ahead and I'll do it f for you. Let's choose another sound. And I'm going to go ahead and choose a string, maybe the sweetest string that's in my user here. Maybe the sweetest, maybe the sweetest string that's in my user here. Select that. And I'll cursor over so you hear it. But maybe I'm going to go into part view, and this time I'm going to put it to match, match the horns. But let's say I'm going to go ahead and tell it, I'm going to adjust the octave now. Watch this. So I'm going to go ahead and get out of keyboard. I'm going to hit F2 and go down to pitch, and I'm going to turn that sweet string up one octave. So now when I play my sound, I can be doing, playing the same thing. Okay, and so now I have the brass and the sweet strings playing depending on if I hit the keys hard. Okay, this is pretty easy. Experiment with this. See what you think. Uh, and once I get it all done, press F8 to exit, and then I can go ahead and press the right button, the red right button on the top right of the screen, and I can go ahead and press F8 select, and I can name it. So all I have to do is spin my dial wheel, my cursor, name it, and I actually save it. Okay. So I hope this really helps you guys out that are playing live. Experiment with this trick uh, on the Phantom G's, and I think you'll get a lot of use out of it. All right, take care. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.